hello my people on the internet in this video i'm going to show you how you can get this neat and beautiful mode team on your windows computer and it's really really nice so let's see what this team bring and after that i'm going to show you how you can get this beautiful team on your windows computer with this team you are going to get this beautiful dock which looks more nice and clean and it's really nice you can peel or remove any app you don't want and paste your own and you're also going to get this beautiful blurry more team on your explorer which is really really nice this explorer comes with a lot of features and it has a new folder icons which is going to make your windows look more reddish and beautiful like what you are seeing now and also has this beautiful closing and minimizing buttons and it's really nice so without further ado let's get started into the video to get started with this video i've provided zip file in the description below where you can find it in our telegram channel just download the zip file which is going to contain all the files we are going to use for this video and extract the file on your desktop once you've extracted the file you are going to see this folder on your desktop just open the folder up and you are going to see all the files you are going to use for this windows customization and it really makes it easy without you going to online or anywhere to download anything before coming to install the team so to get started the first thing we are going to do is to install ultra us team patcher so double click on it and it's going to open the installation setup just click on next accept the attempts and condition click on next again and agree and install once you have done installing sometimes it tells you to reboot if you are using this software for the first time but if it's not telling you then we can just continue with the video or you can just reboot your computer and come again for us to continue so once you are done with this just open the more team for windows 11 you are going to see all this file click on teams and here just copy the files here once you've copied it head to your local disk go to windows search for resources once you found resources you are going to see teams here double click and just paste the files you copied here click on continue to be pasted it's here once you've pasted it here you can just close your explorer and open your settings once you've opened your settings just head to personalization and click on the teams and here you are going to see this more team over here just click on it for it to take effect once you've chosen this team once you've chosen this team it's going to apply the team and when we open our explorer we are going to see this new closing and minimizing button over here which shows that the ultra team patch that we installed was successfully installed so once we are done with this the next thing we are going to install again is this that all is back so double click on it and here click on install for everyone once the installation is done it's going to change the look of our windows taskbar and going to replace it with its own one and here is it once it is done installing and it has opened this panel for you just click on windows 11 here which is a proper level and head to explorer here click on win 7 command bar and here disable the first two and just turn on the rest of the of the things once you have chosen this you can close this one up for the main time and open this thing again and you are going to see that your windows explorer is kind of different once you have this look then we are good to go the next thing we are going to do is to install this more team icons on our windows which is going to change this icons over here and it's really going to make it very nice to install the icons you are going to see 7 tsp zip here just right click on it and extract once you've extracted it open it up you are going to see this file just rename it and change the .ee to .ese which is going to make it an executable file so double click on it and then it's going to allow you to agree or do something and it's going to open the panel for you once the panel is open just click on add a custom pack and here what we are going to do is to head to our desktop go to the more team folder 
open mode team and here choose 7 tsp and you are going to see this file over here just double click on it and click on yes once the team is downloaded into the 7 tsp just click on start patch and, and click on yes here what it's going to do is to go it's going to install all the necessary icons that is going to be able to change the icon packs on our windows computer and it's really going to make it nice and this team is really going to make our windows computer very beautiful and so nice but i just want to use this moment to tell you that if you are not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel which may help my youtube I guide them to push my videos to the rest of the people who need videos like this and make it more nice for them i will be glad if you like and also comment in the comment box that you are a really big fan of windows customization or anything related to windows and i'll be happy thank you so after this is done installing it will tell you to reboot just reboot it and let's continue once the icon pass are installed completely, you are going to see that all your folders and your this PC icons has been changed. And when you open your explorer, you are going to see these new icons on your Windows Explorer. The next thing we are going to do is to install this patch which is going to face our control panel. Because when you open our control panel now, we are going to see this white thing. And it really bores our Windows computer because all the teams are going to be dark and we don't want any white team anywhere so to face this issue we have a 7 tsp file inside the team folder which is for the control panel and here what you are going to do is to just rename it and just remove the dot remove from top and then click on enter so with this we can just go back to this place and open our 7tsp again and just add the control panel 7tsp and install so i'm just going to add it over here choose it and just click on yes and click on start patch and click on yes again and it's going to install this new one once the new one is installed it's also going to ask you to restart your computer again once you have finished installing the control panel patch and then when we open our control panel we are going to see that this white thing that was over here has been removed and now it's dark and it's very nice so let's continue with our video just double click on the files again and you are going to see this release the 64 here just extract this folder once you've extracted this open it up you are going to see this release just copy this file and just paste it in your document once you've pasted it here open it up and you are going to see this register just run it as an administrator and then click on ok and click close this terminal now when we open our explorer again we are going to see this blurry explorer look which is really really nice and i really love this blurry look and the next thing we are going to do is to install Remita which is going to show this beautiful clock style on our Windows computer. So without further ado, let's extract this Remita zip file. Once it's extracted, open the folder up and just install the Remita. Click on next, install. And once you are done installing, click on finish. You are going to see this default Remita scans. What we are going to do is to unload all the scans. That is the default scans. Once you are done unloading it, then you can just run this shadows clock. Double click on it and click on install. And once you are done, you are going to see this beautiful clock on your windows. Just close the folder up and place it in the middle of your windows and it's really going to make it very nice once you've placed it there just open it up again and what we are going to do now is to install the beautiful dock you saw on the youtube terminal and to install this dock you can just right click on the nexus and just click on extract this once you've extracted this folder just run the nexus setup and the installation panel is going to open for you to install the nexus so i'll just accept the attempts and condition and click on next 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 and install 
once the installation is done just launch the nexus and it's going to appear on top of your windows computer so this is the nexus DOS i was talking about and now now it's looking very bad but we are going to customize it to make it very nice and sync with the windows team we've created so just head back to the main folder open the mode team for windows 11 and here you are going to see doc over here you are going to see doc icons inside the doc folder just right click on it and just copy go to your look at this and just paste it here once it's pasted here you can just open it up and you are going to see a lot of icons which are for the team we are going to install and just head back to where we copied the folder and then you are going to see background and indicator here what i recommend you do is to open this document in this new window formula and here you are going to see one step over here just double click on it and here click on nasals and here you are going to see background here so i'm just going to open this background folder and there are two files over here what i'm going to do is to just copy it and paste it in this background folder in the nasals i'll head back again and i'll go to indicators and here I'm also going to drag and drop this indicator into the indicators folder here and then close this. The next thing we are going to do is to just make the dock look nice. What we are going to do is to just right click on this nexus. Once you've clicked on it, just go to general or advanced, sorry, and click on restore. Once you are in the restore, head back to your desktop, open the mode team for Windows and here you are going to see this mode team over here. Click on dock and just choose mode dock backup. Just click on open and here it's going to make it look like this. The next thing we are going to do is to head to the team panel here and just choose move background and click on apply. Once you've applied it, you are going to see this beautiful dock, which is really going to make your windows nice. So just click on OK. And now what we are going to do is to make our windows taskbar come to this top side and just make it really nice. So what we are going to do is to right click on this. If it's locked, just unlock this one and just move it to the top of your windows. Once it's here, just right click on it and click on properties. And on this properties, what I recommend you do is to head to your start menu. And here we have to add the mode team default star over here. And what we are going to do is to just open this folder again. And here we are going to the mode team for Windows. And here you can see start menu here. It contains two files, which is the ORB and the star. What I recommend you do again is to open the local desk in a new window. And here, what you are going to do is to go to program files and head to start all is back. Here you can see star and ORBs over here. So just open this one up again and drag the more start menu to the star. Click on continue. Head back and open the ORB and copy all the things here and paste it in the ORBs. Just click on continue. Now we've added all of them to this, we can just head back, close the start always back again and right click here and click on properties. Once we are here on the start menu, we are going to see this more start menu over here. Just click on it and here when we click on our start menu, we are going to see it looks like the team we've installed and just go to the taskbar and here what I recommend you do is to put this one on small and this one too on small. And here we are just going to choose the most start menu and it's really going to make it very nice and there are a whole lot of start menu animations that are here what i recommend you choose is this one which is really going to make your start menu start button look really nice like this one 
and it's very nice to add a new icon to this dock we've created here you can just drag the application to the dock and it's going to be pasted on it just like that and after that we have to change the icon if you want to change the icon to make it synchronize with the one we've created here just open your folders app go to your local address and head to your dock icons here just search for the application we are going to add to the dock and we are going to see its icon over here just drag it and drop it on the icon you added and it's going to change it and it's really really simple and one thing we are going to do is if you see a folder icon or some text over here the thing that is going to help you remove that is this old new explorer just right click on it and extract this explorer once you've extracted it open it you are going to see this head back again and just copy this folder go to look at this and paste it here once you've pasted it here open it up and run this the thing we are going to do is to just select only this delay one disable this last two and click on install once you've installed it and restart to explorer you are going to see that this icon and everything here has been removed now we've installed this one we are done installing the windows team and here what i recommend what i recommend you do to make your windows look nice is to just right click and hide your desktop icons and make your windows super clean and nice so this is the team guys and we've now gotten it on our windows computer and it's really nice so this video is coming to an end and if you are not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to this channel because it helps me a lot to move on and make a lot of videos for you so thank you see you in the next video bye